at some point uh, came across a weapon. I don't have any information in regards to whether it was out in the open or whether it was hidden. We don't know at this time. But somehow children playing with a gun and the uh, victim was struck in the head. In critical condition, struck in the head, that 13-year-old boy over on Justine. Right now, we're live on Omira, where the younger children, who are believed to be three or four years old, were playing with a gun, and the one child shot. We don't know the extent of those injuries just yet, but you were just seeing some of those flashing lights. We're staying back because family members have arrived, and they are right now in the midst of discussing things with police and investigators. Remember, this is all very preliminary, as these events just unfolded within the last handful of the hours, the most recent shooting right here, uh, around 3 o'clock clock this afternoon. So we will stay on top of this uh, incident as it's unfolding. And something else I do want to point out is that we had just covered uh, just a little bit ago the Detroit police holding a press conference and event letting everyone know they have free gun locks. No questions asked. You can pick them up at a precinct or at headquarters and the city of Southfield Police Department. They also are offering gun locks for free. No questions asked. And they are at this point begging that if you have got a gun and children in the home, they you come pick one up and use it. Reporting live here in Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Jennifer Ann, devastating, and not just for two families, but all of us feeling this this afternoon. Let's hope they go get those locks if you need them. Thank you so much. We're going to bring now uh, Detroit City Councilman James Tate in. Councilman Tate, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me, Glenda. I appreciate this opportunity. Sad, sad day. Sad day. I mean, you just hosted an event on gun safety after a string of accidental shootings involving children. Here we are again, two separate accidental shootings. Your reaction about what happened today and what must we do to keep kids safe? Yeah, without knowing all the details, um, you know, I, I just want to send my uh, heartfelt uh, condolences, prayers and wishes. Um, to the family members of those young children who uh, were injured today, and also the families who were involved, uh, the the the, the, per the so-called perpetrator. That's also important. Uh, when we had our, our town hall just a few weeks ago regarding this issue, we realized that there was pain on both sides. Uh, but one thing that we definitely recognize is that there, regardless of the pain, we as a community have to identify how do we get the message out to gun owners to secure their firearms. Uh, in the city of Detroit this year alone, uh, 16 young people have been either uh, uh, self-inflicted or involved in some type of accidental shooting themselves. So these are kids finding guns and using them accidentally. But it's not, it's an accident, but it's definitely preventable. So this is the thing that bothers me, I mean, and keeps me up at night. How do we as a community wrap our arms around this issue, not just with words, but with solutions? Thank you, James. We have to